how do we find the product of two matrices? Before we find out how two matrices are multiplied, we need to check for their compatibility. Only if they are compatible can they be multiplied. But wait, how do we check for compatibility? How do we know if two matrices can be multiplied? We will come to this, don't worry. But before that, let me ask you an easy question. Let's say we multiply two numbers, 2 and 3. We know that this also equals 3 times 2. 2 times 3 is equal to 3 times 2. This is the commutative property of multiplication. x multiplied by y will always be equal to y multiplied by x if x and y are numbers. But let's say there are two matrices A and B. Will A times B be always equal to B times A? The answer is not always. The order in which matrices are multiplied matters. So if we find out that A times B is compatible, it does not imply that B times A is compatible. We need to check for compatibility of each of the products. Now let's move on to how we can check for compatibility. Ok, here's the rule. The product AB is compatible if, note that we are talking about A times B here and not B times A. A is the first matrix and B is the second. So the product AB is compatible if the number of columns in matrix A is equal to the number of rows in matrix B. Yes, AB is compatible only if the number of columns in A is equal to the number of rows in B. Let's see a couple of examples. Can this matrix be multiplied with this one? We don't have to multiply, we just need to check the compatibility. Look at the rule again. AB is compatible if the number of columns in A is equal to the number of rows in B. Here the first matrix has one column and the second matrix has one row. The number of columns in this matrix is equal to the number of rows in this matrix. And hence, this multiplication is possible. Here's the second example. I encourage you to pause the video and check if this multiplication is possible or not. For this to be possible, the number of columns in the first matrix has to be equal to the number of rows in the second matrix. The first matrix has one column and the second matrix has two rows. As 1 is not equal to 2, this multiplication is not possible. Remember the simple rule. The number of columns in the first matrix should be equal to the number of rows in the second. Keeping that in mind, I want you to complete the next sentence. Assuming A and B are matrices, BA will be compatible if Easy. This will be compatible if the number of columns in B is equal to the number of rows in A. It's the same rule. The number of columns in the first matrix should be equal to the number of rows in the second. Is this multiplication possible? Two columns, three rows. No, it is not possible. What about this one? Three columns and three rows? Possible. Now you know that it's easy to find out if two matrices are compatible for multiplication. The number of columns in the first matrix should be equal to the number of rows in the second. Only then will the multiplication be possible. A good way to find out if multiplication is possible is by writing the order of the matrices. Let's see how it helps us. Look at the first example. The first matrix has three rows and one column. Its order will be 3 by 1. The order of the second matrix will be 1 by 2. We see four numbers here. Multiplication is possible only if the second and the third numbers are equal. 1 is equal to 1. Multiplication possible. The order of this matrix is 2 by 1 and that of this one is also 2 by 1. Here, 1 is not equal to 2. Multiplication not possible. In the third example, 2 is not equal to 3. Hence, multiplication not possible. And in the fourth, 3 is equal to 3. 
Hence, multiplication is possible. Hold on. Some of you might be thinking that writing the orders is a waste of time. And just finding the number of columns of the first matrix and rows of the second is enough. But there is a reason why writing the orders helps us. Yes, a very important reason which we will cover in the next session.